So lag is not dead. That's what this video is about. Okay, I'm going to get more to it. Obviously, we had a great week. Nelly Corda won in a playoff. Patty Harrington won. Peter Malinali. But I'm going with Keith Mitchell. Okay, I think he's got something in what he works on and what he does and how he creates lag in his golf swing um, that's going to help your game. And that's what I'm most interested in. I want something that will help your game. He's got a fantastic golf swing. He was the overall driving leader last year. He averaged 320 yards, was 11th in distance, and like 14th in accuracy. One of the two. I mean, it wasn't even close how well this guy drove the ball. And when I'm playing with a lot of the amateurs that I coach, that is a big problem, okay? They don't go that far and they don't go that straight. We can drive the ball better if we can get some more lag in our golf swing, get some more snap at the bottom, get a little more club head speed. We're all going to be a lot happier. So let's jump right in to how Keith Mitchell is going to help you out today. So unfortunately, Keith Mitchell did not finish off the Valspar with a win, but he did shoot 29 on Saturday, and the guy is an absolute driving machine, right? Like a BMW, just long and straight. And I think the key position is right here. So you notice the width of his arms stretched away from his backswing, and then here's the downswing position. You notice how much lag he has stored. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you next, just exactly how he's getting to that position so gracefully, so consistently, and how that same position can help you generate a lot more club head speed and a lot more power in your driver's swing or your iron swing in general. Get a swing instructor, a swing friend, or I have handyman, crunch man Pete over here to help. And I'll explain that once you get to the top, He'll grab the center of the club and he'll grab it really tight. And there's only one, and you gotta use all your power to get it to the ball. And he's gonna hold it tight, and you'll see I'm gonna use my body, because if he, I try to use my hands, it's not gonna go anywhere. But if I grab it here, it's gonna drop in that lagged position. So here's your average 12 handicapper taking the golf club back, and you're gonna see a big difference in that halfway back position. You notice how the arms are already starting to cave in. He's not getting enough stretch through his lead arm, trail arm, upper back. There's going to be no choice but to widen that angle coming down. Okay, There's going to be a lot of arm activity, a lot of arm thrust to try to generate power. He's not going to be able to narrow that gap from the backswing to the downswing and really store some lag to really get that snap coming through that we see so many great players getting, right? The body's out in front of it. He's pulling with his arms, just a lot of effort and not that much speed. Another example here, six handicap, and he gets one step farther. He creates a lot of width and stretch in the backswing. So we can definitely see some similarities here in this halfway back position, but he's not able to get that lag and that storage coming down. So he's going to be a little bit left in the dust when it comes to generating a lot of club head speed with driver. So average drives around 230 with this golf swing. Hits it relatively straight, but there's no large acceleration of the club going through. You can see that downswing really has no angle or no lag. Something totally different that we see with Keith, there's a lot of storing and loading just like what he's describing in some of those drills that he does on a consistent basis and that we're going to show you how to get in your golf swing. Hey, it's your coach Zach Allen here. And when it comes to the golf swing, I've seen and tried it all. But nothing has proven as effective as the concept I'm about to share with you now. It is the single most powerful piece of golfing advice I've ever come across. In fact, I would go so far as to call it a magic move. Since I don't have the time in this short video, I've put together a three-part web class where I teach you exactly how to put it to use in your game. Nothing held back. I call it my Magic Move Training Series, and you can get the entire thing free of charge by clicking the link in the description below. You won't find these videos anywhere else, so go ahead, click the link right now, and I'll send you the first session right away. Okay, let's go ahead and get back to that lesson. So here's what Keith Mitchell's talking about. Okay, he's giving you a feel for going from a wider backswing position to a narrower downswing position. And he's trying to communicate the thought 
that you need to feel more elastic, right? So if you look, my, my arms look straight when I swing, but I promise they're very flexible. So I'm reaching wider and then I'm bringing them into my body as I start down. And that's where we start to get some of that lag. We start to see the club reconnect with the body from this view, wider back here to narrower coming down. We get some shallowing happening. But it's something that you ought to be practicing, right? You could take the rubber tubing, like what he's doing. You could have somebody hold. That's also great. But you can actually just feel it as you go to swing. I learned from a book called The Golfing Machine, and it's what they call snap loading. So you're going back, going back. The arms are nice and, nice and pliable, and then snap coming down. So it's good to just hit shots practicing that very feeling coming down. So you notice when it snap low, the snap, it's quick, right? So here, quick transition. And when I say quick, it's not quick as far as bad quick, 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 right? It's quick as far as there's just a good impulse to that club coming back into your body athletically and dynamically. So right, wide, snap. That was a 135 yard eight iron, and I'm really only taking it back halfway, and it's pretty short into that snap load. Wide snap. That was a little thin. That's 146.9 yards, okay? So there's a lot of power in getting ourselves to be a little more elastic and pliable as we start down. Right? And when we're talking about this lag position, we're not pulling down with our hands to get lag. We're not tilting back like this to get lag. We're not pulling with really strong arms and stiff shoulders. We're very elastic, very flexible, very fluid as this thing snaps in. This position alone will help your ball striking. You see how much later my delivery is and how I'm gonna be able to get to a good impact position? just from achieving that kind of snap loading feeling coming down. I hope that helps you out. I've got another downswing video here if you're interested in kind of some other thoughts on the downswing, but I would head right out to the driving range and take some of those you know, secrets from Keith Mitchell, give them a shot. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next video. Have a great week.